GoPro. It's just GoPro. But we can do like this. GoPro. <laughs> Hello people, welcome back to another new episode of The Scenes and thank you for tuning in again. At the end of this video, there is something you should know. A little interesting announcement. So lately I've been using this GoPro a lot in my vlogs. It's so small and light, you can hide it in your pocket and you can put it out whenever you need it. This can shoot 4K, 5K. For me, this is just the best vlogging camera in nature. Also, depends on color grading, this can make a great result, something like this. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to make GoPro footage cinematic. Okay, so as always, let's pass the microphone to the guy who does the color, and let's breathe a new life into the footage. Enjoy. Welcome back. So, important thing in a cinematic color grading of GoPro is a camera setting. It's not about a frame rate or resolution. You can choose whatever you want, but I need you to check four things first. For set the EV comp to negative 0.5 or negative 1. GoPro image tend to be kind of harsh sometimes when it's outside, especially highlight. So I set the EV comp negative 0.5. Frankly, it's the limit of exposure. So no matter how bright outside is, the highlight area, I mean, it doesn't get that bright as long as you set this EV comp below zero. Second is set the minimum and maximum ISO 100. Obviously, don't want to make it noisy. Stick with 100. Number three, set the sharpness to medium. Yeah, like I said, the normal GoPro image kind of harsh. So I set the sharpness to medium and leave it to the post-production so that I can have a control of contrast and exposure. Number four, set the color to flat. So this is kind of same as this sharpness. You know, it's not a raw or log, but you can have a similar experience with them. Shoot with the flat image and later in a post-production, Da Vinci, you can and, you know edit colors whatever you want but not like lock but you can have you know a small control of it that's it as long as you keep this sitting you're ready to color grade gopro cinematic okay first i'm gonna start off with contrast and exposure so this is not a lock but there is already contrast going on but i'm gonna gain contrast a little bit more by using this contrast i'm gonna tweak it a little bit just a little bit is fine. And I think I'm going to move this temperature to orange side. Well, I should have done this before contrast, but you know, it's okay. I just noticed it. So I'm gonna turn it to orange side. Yeah, right now it's a kinda warmer than before. And right now the gain is too much, obviously. The sky and you know, the snow is too much. So I'm gonna bring this gain down. Yeah, this is fine. Good. And also, I'm gonna bring this highlight down. Yeah, this is fine. So, next one is gamma. Usually, I bring this up to get more like a creamy, like a battery mid tone feel. But this time, like this image, I mean, the view is kind of hazy, like a little bit foggy. It's not clear. So, I'm gonna bring this down to make it more like sharper so i'm gonna bring this gamma down and i think i'm going to get more shadow by bringing this lift down okay good okay next moving to saturation here i'm gonna do just uh two things basically so first and what i'm gonna do is give it a little bit more colors by using this saturation. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit more colors. And also right now it's kind of blue, green. I want more warm. So I'm gonna shift this gamma to orange side, but just a little bit. Oof. But this is just fine. So that was very small change, but if I do before and after, okay, this is before, after, before, after very small but 
now definitely this is my favorite so this depends on you if you like more like a blue green feel you can just uh, move this offset or gain to cyan or green side so next moving to log so in this log node i'm gonna make some creative cinematic look by using only log wheels which allows me to control a very specific part of each color area such as i'm gonna show you guys shadow mid tone highlight so this time let's go with a uh, basic uh cyan for shadow and Maybe orange and yellow for mid-tone and highlights. So first, I'm gonna start off with a mid-tone. So I'm gonna shift this to orange side, but not too much of magenta because I don't want it in this image. I just want kind of orange, warm feel. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. And next, I'm gonna do shadow. So I'm gonna bring this down, just down, cyan. Okay, good. The last one is highlight all the way to yellow. Yeah, good. Okay, so now let me do before and after. Okay, this is before the log and after, before, after. I just like it. So from here, I'm gonna use a mask to edit a specific area, such as the sky and clouds and mountain. You know, when the shadow and the highlight are separated each other, this mask is very effective and useful tool to make them like balanced well so when you find color grading the highlight sh shadow is difficult i recommend using this mask just apply to a each area you want to color grade so first i'm gonna start off with the sky so i'm going to use this mask and cover it where i'm gonna color grade which is this sky so I'm just gonna do like this and feather this out, like blending this area and this area together. We don't want any harsh edge. So just like this is fine. And next going to curve and what I'm gonna do is make a S curve to make it more contrasty and I'm gonna, you know, lower the total exposure of the sky down a little bit. So first, I'm gonna make a point at the middle and bring it down. Something like this. Yeah, but I want more like crispy highlight. So I'm gonna make point on the highlight and bring it up. Just like this. See, the cloud is getting more like sharp light, sharp edge somewhere around this. I think I'm gonna bring this middle a little bit up. Yeah. And shadow down a little bit to make this curve S. So before, after, before, after. So next moving to cloud again, mask, but this time I'm gonna use this circle mask and cover this entire cloud area just like this and of course i'm going to feather it out and again going to curve and make a point at the middle and just bring it up a little bit to emphasize the you know the existence of this sky and i'm going to boost this mid tone detail to make it more sharper so i'm gonna just gain it just like this okay before after before after now it's you know, much more emphasized and the last one i'm gonna do is this mountain so this is basically the same as the sky but this is for the mountain and snow area so again make a mask just like this and cover this area and blend it good and going to curve so i'm going to make an s curve but not hard as the sky just very gentle s curve so i'm gonna only make two points shadow and highlight so i think i'm gonna make a point on the highlight first and just bring it up a little bit and shadow downward 
Okay, good. Okay, this is it. So now I'm gonna turn off all of this and I'm gonna show you guys all processes I did to get this look from this flat GoPro image. One by one, node to node, node by node, go. Okay, I'm happy with this. Now my job is done like this. I'll give this back to you. So, welcome back. I think that was all about a mask. A mask is very useful tool in color grading. When the image has a not good balance of contrast exposure, you know what I mean? This mask is very, you know, effective and useful. Sometimes it'll save your time, save your life. So about the a little, you know, interesting announcements that you should know. You know what? I have the idea. I'm thinking we're gonna do something like a video, which is color grade your footage. So if you have a footage, it doesn't matter if it's raw, log, or just normal video, that you don't know how to deal with. You know, you don't know how to color grade. So if you have those, send it to this email. And then I'm gonna pick one which has a potential to be a good tutorial, to be you know, helpful for you guys. And I'm gonna do color grading tutorial as the episode of the, this series that scenes. What do you think? Sounds good, huh? So again, the email is in the description below. So don't be shy, join me. Ah, let's make a video together. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions about this color grading, don't hesitate to leave the comment below. And if you have any requests for next scenes, also leave the comment below. So today's topic is pretty much it, and thank you for watching this video. If you like this one, show me a thumb and uh, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.